Hey everybody, this is Evan Rogers coming at you with another super exciting JLPT N5 grammar doobly-doo. We are doing the four blank guys where we have to decide the correct order of these four words slash particles. Plug them in blah 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 right here and whichever one goes where this star is is the correct answer. So for example, if it said Morato tomodachi gaikoku ni, that's not the correct answer by the way. Gaikoku was right here and so the correct answer would be three. All right, you're probably wondering what the heck is on my head. Honestly, it was because I was trying to have fun by putting one of those uh, those kendo. I used to do kendo. I'm very bad at kendo. I'm very, very, very bad at kendo. Um, one of those kendo things over my head, and it looked ridiculous. But I decided to actually use it because the bright light makes my head light up because I'm bald. Uh, so I'm going to go with it for now, uh, okay? I hope you're not offended by my horrific culture appropriation. <laughs> Cultural appropriation, oh my god. Okay, so anyway, here are the words. We've got senshu, blank, 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 blank. No kochi wa totemo oishikatta desu. Alright, so last week something, no kochi wa totemo oishikatta desu. Okay, we're being polite with the word des. The word, this sentence ends in an in, a, in an e adjective in the past tense. Uh, so oishikatta. So it was something it was delicious. And we're being polite about it. It was totemo oishikata, totemo oishikata desu. It was very delicious. And the thing that it seems like we're talking about is the kocha. And the whatever we're talking about, uh, sorry, this kocha that we are talking about, there's the English that I'm trying to say. The kocha that we are talking about is being described by all of this Okay? And so our job is to figure out how these four well, words and three words in a particle go together in order to modify the word kocha. Okay, so our hints. Senshu being the first word doesn't give them much of a hint because honestly, time... Oh, well, senshu means last week. Honestly, time doesn't really factor that much into grammatical... Um, uh, what do you call it? Grammatical structure. Uh, word order. That's what I'm looking for. Word order. Uh, however, we do end with no... We do end with no, which uh, suggests that this right here is going to be... Oh, and, and not only does it end in no, sorry, what's more important is that... not Well, equally important. It ends in no, but then also goes into a, a noun. So, cold is a noun, and it's being modified by whatever this is. So, this is almost certainly going to be a noun, because noun, no, noun is, the, is, is what's going on here. Very infrequently, up to never, would anything other than a noun come right here with a no going into a noun. So, uh, of the two options, we have Gaikoku no Kocha, so a foreign country's, um, a foreign country's, uh, T, sorry, T. Th that sounds like it could work, a Gaikoku no Kocha. Sorry, let's go over these words first. So, Morata, I received something. Tomodachi, a friend. Uh, Gaikoku, a foreign country. And Ni would be the particle. Based on what we have here, um, so Ni has many meanings. Um, it, it, it can be the place of non-action, uh, like arimas and sundemas and verbs like that where there is no actual action. However, we don't have a verb of non-action going on here, so it's probably not that function. We do have moraimas, morata, which is a verb of giving, and morata means to receive, uh, well, received, and so this would be probably the marker of from whom we received it from. Which, hey, look at that. We have the word tomodachi. Okay. So we have tomodachi and probably we re 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 received something from our friend. We moratad something ni our tomodachi. And then, now the trick is, does gaikoku go before tomodachi ni morata or was it going to come after tomodachi ni morata? Well, we should already know with the no particle being here that Guy Cook is probably going to come over here. But that gives us a problem. That gives your brain, you're going like, what, what, Eva? Can, like, can, like, can a verb, tomodachi ni morata, like, a verb is going directly into a noun? Yeah, that happens in Japanese. Uh, these, these make the sentences uh, such as, the dog that is very furry. Things like that. That's not a sentence. It's actually a, um... 
the word is there. So it's a clause. Uh, so the dog that is very furry, he is very furry. That's a clause. So this would be a, an adjective clause. So what's interesting is in Japanese, uh, verbs act amazingly similarly to E adjectives. And so we classify them, I at least classify them, and so do many linguists, under a bigger subgroup as verbals. So underneath the subgroup of verbals, we have now... Uh, <laughs> time out, Evan. Let's actually say what I mean to say. Under the major food group, so to speak, the major word group of verbals, we have E adjectives and uh, verbs. Then we also have nominals, which has nouns and not adjectives. And then technically no uh, nominals, n no adjectives, I should say, but those are basically nouns and not adjectives. Um, so, yeah, so, so indeed, tomodachi ni morata gaikoku no kocha works. Now, let's go through how this works, okay? So, tomodachi ni morata, I received something from my friend, gaikoku no kocha. So, is it so, if Murata is going into Gaikoku, what <laughs> Gaikoku? Yeah, sorry, I'm I'm speaking to you in English and I'm using Japanese words, so my pronunciation's wrong. Gaikoku. Uh sorry, Gaikoku. So, if we're using Tomodachi ni Murata and it's going directly into Gaikoku, then are we modif? Did your f Did you receive a country, a foreign country, from your friend? I mean, that's what I'm saying, right? Sent you Tomodachi ni Murata Gaikoku, right? So the answer is no, you don't receive a foreign country from your friend unless it's like, I don't know, the king of Arabia or some crap. Um, if you notice, Gaikoku has a no after it and it's going into kocha. So Gaikoku is modifying kocha. And even though there's a bunch of words in between it, so is tomodachi ni morata. So tomodachi ni morata, kocha, and gaikoku no kocha. So it's it's T that is that is foreign countries. Aka so notice how this uh, this gaikoku no it doesn't work like uh, ownership. It's just we're taking a noun gaikoku and we're using it to modify kocha. So so keep track of that. The no particle doesn't always mean ownership. Um, in fact, honestly, it doesn't usually mean ownership. Uh, we, we can use it for ownership, but there are so many other usages of it. It really just means the first noun is modifying the second noun. That's really what it means. And so we have, uh, we have T that is being modified by foreign country, so a foreign T. And we have way the heck over here with the word in between it, with a word and a particle in between it, Tomodachi ni morata, kocha. So it's kocha that was tomodachi ni morata, and it's kocha that is gaikoku no. Okay, so senshu, tomodachi ni morata, gaikoku no kocha wa tottemo oishikatta desu. Okay, so um, the T, as, here, where's there's the wa particle? As for the T, that's foreign T, that I got from a friend last week. Sorry, the, the highlights aren't showing up. As for the... One more time. Oh my gosh, wa particle. As for the T that's foreign and is also from a friend, Tomodachi ni Murata, last week... Tomodachi oishikata... Oh my gosh, the entire thing got highlighted. Tomodachi... Uh, totemo oishikata desu. It is very delicious. There you go. That is how this works. If you have questions or comments, leave them in the uh, description or the what, what the comment section because I can actually help you out. Um, and who knows if you have the same question, then somebody else out there has the question. Now you might be noticing my videos are only getting like forty views, guys. Come on, if you could thumbs up these videos and share them with all your friends on social media, being that weird guy like, hi, oh, I found this guy who teaches Japanese. That'd probably help me out. I'll let everybody know. Uh, there's also, you could send me a direct donation, paypal.me slash Evansies Japanese and Patreon and Subscribestar uh, with the $1, $3, $5, and $10 level of subscription donations, each with their own rewards. Uh, the $1 donation doesn't have any real rewards yet. I'm going to fix that in the future. Like maybe let you guys decide on uh, content that you might want to make. The $3 support level, though, gets you access to the kanji beginners or the beginner kanji's workbook that I made. 125 kanji that you need for the JLPT N5. And if you ever become a first grader in Japan, you'll be good. You'll be Gucci. All right. That being said, have yourselves a great day. Peace out.